are about to see behind the scenes of the fountains of Bellagio. What makes all of this work? Right here we have two of the shooters. It says, people are always wondering what's in the lake. Well, this right here is a super shooter. This actually shoots the water over 220 feet. This right here is the mini shooter. We have 780 of these. But then we also have 16 of the extremes, which is basically if you sandwich three of these together, that would make an extreme shooter. You can actually almost dive inside one. <laughs> Raise the nozzle shields, and that's when you know the show's about to start. When you see the nozzle shields start to protrude and rise out of the water, you know the magic's about to start. I want to give all of you a behind the scenes look at the fountains of Bellagio. Starting off with this right here. This is the Norseman. These are the ladies that actually do all the work in the lake for the most part. These are the original devices that were here over 20 years ago. This is what causes the, all the waters to move back and forth and basically dance and choreograph the music. The water is tested on a daily basis to make sure that the water is healthy for us to be able to dive in. And also since we throw it up in the air, we want to make sure that it's also healthy for the public. So everyone that works here at the front feature has to be speed of 30. We don't dive like normal divers. Normal divers will have what they call the BC. It helps them stay afloat. It also helps them to not touch the bottom of the surface. Here, we want to sink like a rock. This is my personal weight belt. That is 55 pounds. The water at this time is 56.6 degrees. We really can't do what we, can, what we do out here without the assistance and the help of show control. If we need a device to be raised, they're the ones who do that for us. It's very complicated. Give a command to just one device, considering we have over 15,000 of them out here. May we please fire off Cooper. Please raise one of the oarsmen up to maintenance position. So where's the best place to see the show? And you're trying to capture the whole show as a whole? Well, one great place is actually up there by the marquee, there's a walkway. From up there, you can get to see the whole show. Another great place is at the very, very end, at the north end of, of our walkway, once again, you can see the whole show. You can actually see the lights on the structure as they're going across. It's pretty neat. I've been watching this show now for over 20 years. It never gets old.